Hello beautiful human beings. Um, today I would like to talk about two books that are actually pretty important to me. So one of them is just a journal. So I use that to just record thoughts. Um, it's quite good for when I'm about to go to sleep. I just write out everything that I have to, that's stuck in my mind. Then through that, come up with, as I'm writing, I come up with strategies of letting go of it and all that sort of stuff so, it does, so I can sleep well. And um, the other one, though, which I really want to talk about a bit, is um, this book here, Beautifully Imperfect. So what it is, is it is a book of lessons. So if anyone ever criticizes me or anything like that, and their criticism makes some sort of sense to me, I write it in this book. So, and also if I find myself making mistakes, I write it in this book because I'm aware that I have quite a lot of blind spots and I'm quite good at, my ego is quite good at saying, oh no, you did nothing wrong, forget about that, or just forget about it anyway, even though you have done something wrong because that's too painful to think about. So writing it down in a book is actually, I found really useful. On top of that, oh, so I'll give you some examples of what's written in it just for the sake of it. Um, I avoided leaning to a pain when it came to an X. I need to sit with my discomfort until it's comfortable. Um, another one. I keep dissociating with stress rather than using the anger from it to mentally destroy it. Um, having expectations of outcomes. Uh, telling the story of my near-death experience of me almost drowning recently is boring. So don't do it. So yeah, that's the idea of this book. But recently what I've learned, as in recently as in today, I've worked out that what I can also do is I can put post-bender report lessons in it. So I just had a bender and um, out of that there's a few lessons that I learned. So to share a few of them, I'm not going to do all of them. Um, carry water bottles into any drug use situation. Uh, put electrolytes in it to add flavor and avoid low body salts, which is something that I already know but I have to remind myself by writing this shit down. Um, avoid rasamic ketamine. Fucking buzzkill bullshit. Now that's just for me, of course. Um, and just because you're keen to get to know someone doesn't mean they are. Value your attention. Bloodletting rocks is a waste of my time. So yeah, I find for the whole reflective personal growth trying to become a better human being, trying to do things more efficiently, which is a value of mine. Um, yeah, having a book like this and writing down people's constructive criticisms is a very healthy problem, a uh, very healthy means of overcoming a problem because it's just a reminder. And, you know, I might work on something, something different one day and something different another. I might not work on anything, but at least I've got it on record as to where other people and maybe even myself feel like I'm going wrong. So yeah, I hope this is useful to you. I hope you do get one of these books because fuck, they are useful. Um, it's definitely nice to look back at it and see how unimaginable now some of that behavior that I've done in the past just doesn't ex I don't see myself even motivated to do it anymore. Yeah, so I hope this was useful to you. Um, yeah, catch you later.